Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be installing Kali Linux 2023.1 inside VirtualBox on a Windows 11 PC. Before we begin, let's take a look at the minimum requirements. You're going to want to have at least two gigs of RAM, four is recommended, 80 gigs of free hard disk space, two or more CPU cores, the Kali Linux virtual machine image, and VirtualBox. Now, if you don't have VirtualBox installed, you can check out this video and I'll walk you through the steps. All tools and links will be in the description below. If you found this video useful, please give us a like. Now let's get to installing Kali Linux. I'm at my desktop and I'm gonna open up my browser and the website I'm at is Kali.org. This is the 10th anniversary for Kali. We're gonna click on the download link right over here and it's gonna take us over to the section where we can choose our platform. Typically I use installer image, which are ISO files, cause very little friction when you're trying to install it, but the virtual machine image is pre-built and it lets you roll immediately. That's the one that we're gonna choose right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And it'll take us down to the pre-built virtual machine section. Now you have the option for the 64-bit and the 32-bit. I definitely recommend the 64-bit. I'll go ahead and click on the download button over here. It's 2.7 gigs in size. And while this is downloading, I just wanna let you know that I'm opening up my Discord to anyone that wants to join the Discord in the general chat. Patreon contributors get access to all the downloaded files, but I'm gonna be opening up the general chat to everyone that wants to come in and talk about virtual machines and possibly solve any issues that you might be having. So look for that in the description below. So the download is now complete. I'm just gonna minimize this and I'll go into my downloads folder. So it's right over here in my downloads folder. I'm gonna open up 7-zip and you can see it's listed right here. I'm just gonna double click on it to open it up. And here's the folder, the VDI file that we're gonna want is in here. So I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna drag and drop it. And it'll extract all the files into my download folder. The total size of this is about 13 in gigs. So you can see that it balloons up quite a bit. So that's something you wanna consider when you're installing this on your computer. You wanna make sure you have enough space. I'll jump over to the next step after this has been extracted. Okay, and the download is now complete. You can go ahead and close all these folders. You won't need them for now. We're gonna go ahead and open up our VirtualBox Manager. And now we're at the Virtual Machine Desktop Manager. The only thing we have to do is click on the Add button over here. And we just need to uh, locate our file. So it's in the Download section over here. And then here is my downloaded folder. And here's my VirtualBox file. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that and then click on Open. And it's gonna import everything that we require as well as all the pre-selected options over here. Say you might wanna add more memory or more CPUs. You just have to select it and then click on Settings. And inside the Settings under System, you can, you can increase the amount of RAM. You can click on Processors and add more course to it if you'd like. So we'll close out of that. And what we're gonna do right now is just select it and then click on Start and it's gonna load up our VirtualBox. It's done loading up, we're at the login screen. The default username and password that we're gonna be using here is gonna be Kali Kali, and then you can go ahead and click on the login button. And here we are, everything has been successfully loaded up. If you wanna switch into full screen mode, you just have to go to the view menu up here at the top and select full screen mode and switch. And now we're in full screen mode. So there is a list of new tools that have come out with this latest version. So these are all the new tools that just came out. If you'd like me to go through these tools in another separate video, let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to do that. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please smash that like button. And if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. This is how you get Kali Linux running in VirtualBox. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.